So this mass, also on that Calvary, the place of the skull, realized that he needed that there was something called salvation. That there is called something called salvation. That there is, there is something called born again. There is something called uh, eternal life. He realized for the very first time that he needed that life. And that's why the Bible says he did something that each one of us need to do if you have not done that. Verse 43, verse 42. Then this man said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. A correct view of salvation, that he needed Jesus. First of all, he realized Jesus was there for a purpose. It is God the Father who initiated the plan of salvation. It is God the Son who said, I will carry that salvation, that plan to its fulfillment, even dying on the cross. It is God the Holy Spirit who reminds us of the, what Jesus did on the cross. It is the Holy Spirit who convicts us of sin, of judgment, and of righteousness. All the three were involved in the plan of salvation. All three were involved in Jesus going to Calvary. Even though Jesus cried that day, Eli, Eli, Samazabatani, my God, why are you forsaken me? God was still there with him. And this must realize that. He had a correct view of salvation. He saw himself as totally helpless. He could do nothing to improve or to save himself from that cross. He was now bound to death, death on a Roman cross, and he had no way of escape. He cried to Jesus. He did the only thing that he could do. And that is verse 42. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. That is the most powerful prayer any person can ever make on this earth. 